We're gonna build a fraction wall Build it nice and tall If you wanna take action to compare fractions Build a fraction wall Let's compare two-fifths to the other fractions on the fraction wall and see if we can find any combinations that are equivalent or equal to two-fifths. One-half is greater than two-fifths, so we can't make an equivalent fraction to two-fifths out of halves. One-third is less than two-fifths. And two-thirds are greater than two-fifths. So we can't use thirds to make an equivalent fraction to two-fifths. One-quarter is less than two-fifths. And two-quarters are greater than two-fifths. So we can't use quarters to make an equivalent fraction to two-fifths. One-sixth and two-sixths are less than two-fifths and three-sixths are greater than two-fifths so we can't use sixths to make an equivalent fraction to two-fifths one-seventh and two-sevenths are less than two-fifths and three-sevenths are greater than two-fifths so we can't use sevenths to make an equivalent fraction to two-fifths one eighth, two eighths, and three eighths are less than two fifths, and four eighths are greater than two fifths, so we can't use eighths to make an equivalent fraction to two fifths. One ninth, two ninths. and three-ninths are less than two-fifths and four-ninths are greater than two-fifths so we can't use ninths to make an equivalent fraction to two-fifths one-tenth two-tenths and three-tenths are less than two-fifths but four-tenths are equal to two-fifths. So four-tenths and two-fifths are equivalent fractions. Let's summarise what we've found. Two-fifths and four-tenths are equivalent fractions. One way to check for equivalent fractions is to see which fractions line up with two-fifths when you draw a vertical line from the end of two-fifths down the fraction wall. The end of Four-tenths lines up nicely with two-fifths.